peace and quiet. It's a rarity in modern life. We work, we socialize, we commute. We have obligations to family, friends, relatives, colleagues, and acquaintances. And thanks to things like social media, those obligations are pretty persistent. As a society, we just don't ever seem to stop. Because of this incessant need to always be on, always be engaged, always be moving forward, it is easy to get overwhelmed. And at some point, even the best of us need a break. If you ask the average person what their ideal setting would be to escape the stresses of life, several key things might come up. Beaches, for instance. Oceans, forests, wildlife. People want a place where the oppressive march of modern life can melt away. Where they can get back in touch with a feeling of inner calm, a sense of natural order. And there are certainly a lot of travel destinations that check these boxes. The Caribbean comes to mind. Or even more exotic than that, the Maldives, Bali... These places may seem like a perfect getaway, but I'm here to clue you in on something, or rather, somewhere. There exists a place, a quiet, beautiful island covered in lush forests, peaceful sanctuaries, rolling farmland, quaint towns, and picturesque beaches. And thankfully, it's not thousands of miles away. In fact, it's right here in our own backyard. Welcome to Whidbey Island. Washington is a grand and beautiful state. From the mighty Columbia River to the impressive peaks of the Cascades, there's a vista here to suit just about every taste. However, if you take just an hour's drive north from Seattle, you'll find yourself staring down an expanse of bays, coves, and waterways known collectively as Puget Sound. And sitting in the heart of this strange mashup of water and land is our destination. Once you set foot on Whidbey Island, something comes over you. The air, the trees, the lush and rustic landscape, these elements combine to instill a feeling of true calm. Gentle waves lap against stone shores, a cool Pacific breeze rustles massive thickets of pine and oak. Our friend and guide around the island, Donna, put it best in saying that it's as if you're changed on a cellular level here. This island may not be exotic or tropical, it's not party central and you won't find any ancient temples or ruins. But what you will find is one of the most uniquely laid-back places I've ever been. Whidbey Island is a strange blend of Cape Cod charm, California chill, and Oklahoma ruggedness. While there's plenty of the endless forest the Northwest is known for, there's also abundant farmland here. In fact, one of the driving forces of culture on the island is the kind of farm-to-table sustainability you'd expect from somewhere in the Midwest. People here have not forgotten the lessons of our ancestors. Live off the land, grow your own, and be proud of it. It's one of the many things that gives this place a vibe that is truly and uniquely Whidbey. But before you can start to discover everything that this place has to offer, you first have to get yourself there. And that's where our adventure really begins. There are two ways to get onto the island. If you're feeling lazy, you can just keep driving up the coast, cross a few bridges, and eventually end up in Oak Harbor, the northernmost city on the island. But that's boring. Who wants boring? We're traveling, right? Let's do something cool. Thankfully, the state of Washington has provided just the thing, a fleet of car ferries. If you've never partaken in this strange transportation ritual, do not pass on the opportunity. You won't have done Whidbey right without at least one ferry crossing. It's easy enough, just find the boarding area and queue up with a long line of cars waiting to make the journey across the water. After a short wait, the friendly ferry staff will wave you forward. You will then drive your car onto a gigantic boat. The crossing from Mulcateo to Clinton on the southeast tip of the island takes just 20 minutes, but in that time, you're free to hop out and head up to the passenger deck, which is complete with a small restaurant, seating areas, and several viewing decks that will give you a stunning glimpse at the beautiful land to which you're headed. Once you get close, head back down to your waiting vehicle and drive off the gigantic boat. <laughs> 
Simple as that. It's both a modern marvel of engineering and a relaxing break from your drive. Now, don't get me wrong, I understand that to some watching this film, this will seem totally mundane. Ferries like this are in operation all over the world. But if, like me, you've never taken a proper car ferry before, it's definitely a memorable way to kick off your visit to this incredibly memorable island. While there are many dramatic and inspiring landscapes on this beautiful little landmass, none is more rewarding or diverse than Deception Pass. Centered around its namesake bridge, this state park is a perfect spot for nature lovers large and small. A walk across the glorious bridge is a must. It gives you stunning views over Puget Sound in two directions, one towards the mainland and one towards the vast expanse of the Pacific Ocean. But besides this impressive feat of human ingenuity, there are an endless array of lakes, streams, and trails in every direction that are ripe for enjoyment. Grab a few kayaks and paddle around a pond, trek through willows and oaks coated in Spanish moss. There are also plenty of guided activities as well. If you're into marine wildlife, this area is legendary for whale watching. There are several pods of gray and orca whales that inhabit the waters around Whidbey in the early summer, and the shallow coves mean you could be in for the experience of a lifetime. But if you're in a simpler mood, feel free to just grab a book and find a cozy spot on one of the park's many beaches. Whatever your choice, Deception Pass is a world of experiences just waiting to be had. Besides the obvious call of the wild, Whidbey Island is home to some of the most picturesque seaside towns imaginable. The largest city is Oak Harbor, situated in the northern portion of the island. While its historic waterfront isn't quite as touristy as some of the other towns, it is still absolutely worth a visit. Heading south from there will take you to the town of Langley. If you enjoy a quiet B&B by the sea, get ready to call this hamlet your home away from home. Though it may be tiny, downtown Langley is the perfect place to stroll, sip tea, and shop for local wares. Then head down one of the wooden staircases to the shore and relax to the gentle sounds of calm waters lapping on gravelly beaches. This is the rhythm of life of many of the towns on Whitby. Whether it's Langley, Freeland, Clinton, or anywhere else, they're all imbued with the same sense of tranquility that saturates the entire island. If you find yourself getting hungry, head up to the town of Coopville and check out this spot. Captain Whitby's. Both the restaurant and the island itself are named for Joseph Whitby, the renowned British naval engineer who surveyed this area in the late 18th century as part of the historic Vancouver expedition. But while the captain is a figure of history, his namesake restaurant plays with the line between past and present. It's classic island fare with a modern twist. While I'm told their clam chowder is phenomenal, there's plenty more current fare to be had as well. Roasted veg, locally grown and served with organic hummus. Salmon roulettes on garlic flatbread, locally sourced charcuterie. It's a great spot for plates small and large using some of the finest local ingredients. And it's all served up just steps away from the water in true Whidbey Island style. If you spend a bit of time here, you start to realize that besides the land itself, one of the defining elements of Whitby Island are the people. There's a sense of reserved individualism that runs deep here. One of the best examples of this is a small grotto simply called the Earth Sanctuary. This nature reserve and spiritual center is the brainchild of Chuck Pettis, a self-proclaimed visionary designer and land artist. His mission is to turn this 72-acre plot into an old-growth forest that wraps around meditation areas, sculpture gardens, and stone circles. As we wandered the quiet paths of this stunning place, I realized how deeply it embodies the true face of Whitby Island as a whole. It exudes a deep and almost primordial sense of stillness. All that can be heard are the calls of birds, gently flowing water, and the rustling of the ferns and grasses that cover the forest floor. 
Winding through the many trails of the sanctuary reveals small but moving moments and acts of mindfulness. Sprinkle a pinch of tobacco over the Native American prayer stone and stand in silent meditation. Wind through a cobbled labyrinth to leave an offering, a keepsake, something meaningful. Sit and contemplate the stones, arranged by careful and devoted hands. While it is decidedly a spiritual place, there is no religion here. Just a feeling of peace, reverence, and connection to the land, the sky, the water, and the unspoken bond between them all. I think everyone, no matter how well-traveled, tends to have a slightly idealized version of island life. When we hear that phrase, we think of palm trees, white sands, deep blue water, coconuts, you know the image. Of course, there's many places that fit that description, and there's nothing wrong with wanting that exact experience. But Whidbey Island paints a decidedly different and equally beautiful picture of what life on an island can be. The rugged beauty, the small town waterfronts, the smooth pebbled beaches, they're not what sit at the front of one's mind when daydreaming about that ultimate island getaway. But after spending time here, I think that maybe we should all stop and reframe our perspective a bit. In my mind, I can't stop coming back to it. This sense of effortless calm. It flows through the trees, along the coast, and between the buildings. It's a feeling that everyone can identify and sink into with the ease of a stone sinking into a still pond. Regardless of how you spend your time here, I can guarantee that you will find the relaxation that you seek. And life on Whidbey Island is nothing if not a beautiful exercise in the art of peace and quiet.